Hey Real Fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Real. Nice to meet you. And now we're going to Hong Day and then YG Entertainment Building and Case Device Studio later on and a little bit of food trip as well. So let's go! To start off our morning, we're going to get a cup of tea latte at Starbucks. This Starbucks branch is just like a one minute walk from our hotel, so very near, very convenient to puntahan. I am not really a Starbucks person because you know I don't drink coffee, but I think it's part of the experience to try Starbucks in Bobonsa because they have special drinks na exclusive lang sa country na yun. As compared to the Starbucks we have here in the Philippines, para mas madaming cakes and pastry options dito. Here's the menu. As you can see, they have some drinks labeled na Korea only, so syempre yun ang ating orderin. As a matcha lover, I ordered the Malcha Latte from Jeju Organic Farm. To be honest, the name sounds so intriguing. Especially because galing pa siyang Jeju Island, so very Korean talaga ang dating ng drink, kaya naman yun ang in-order ko. We are currently at Myeongdong Station to take the subway going to Hongik University Station. You might be wondering, where are we going? Kapit lang, you will soon find out. Okay, their subways are just really so clean and looks good as new and also spot the opa na nakaupo sa harapan ko. Nakita mo ba? Ikaw ah, dumadadag yung mga yan sa tourist attractions natin. <laughs> Okay, tama na ang opa hunting. Back to work tayo. So we have arrived at Hongdae University Station, which is also Hongdae area. Hongdae is very famous for being a shopping center. Yes, kagasto sa naman tayo. When will this budulan end? I don't freaking know. Let's just always think na we deserve this. <laughs> anyway, before the shopping commences, we'll visit first Gyeonggi Line Forest Park. Which is just right outside the station. Like when you go out, you won't miss it. <laughs> Hi guys, we're currently here at Gyeonggi Line Forest. We're in a shooting yung mga kay drama like Goblin, Record of You, Dol Dol Sol Sol Lala Sol. Is that right? And then uh, her private life. So many kay drama. So this is their filming location. As you can see. Yeah. You know, this is what I envy so much with countries like Korea and Japan. They have a lot of public parks that are so pretty and so clean. I know I've said the word clean a lot of times already since we arrived in Seoul, but you know, it's just a fact. People from these countries really take care of public places and maintain them really well. It's very safe to just chill, feel the cold breeze, and if you have kids, they can just freely play around here and you won't have to worry about a damn thing. I think I think parks bring people together to disconnect to connect and I just really hope someday we have something like this in our own country. Oh, ayan, from relaxing and chilling sa park, eh diretso takbura tayo kasi hinahabol natin ang pedestrian stoplight. So just right in front of Yonggui Line Forest Park is one of the famous malls here, AK End. Oh, oh yun lang yung name niya. AK and <laughs> Sige, to make it longer, AK and Hongdae Because Hongdae branch siya <laughs> Upon doing research, apparently this mall is a newly opened shopping mall like 2 years ago lang So, if you've been to Hongdae before, pre-pandemic eh This mall is something to check out when you go back here We actually arrived a bit earlier than its store opening Kaya finally time to go inside there are a lot of stores na talaga namang worth checking out. Like on your right, we have here Art Box, which is like tickles in our country. They sell tons of cute stationery items among other things na good as a souvenir na rin and also good as pasalubong. Opposite Art Box is Chikor, which is like Olive Young but more on the high-end side. I've been looking for a face moisturizer and finally I found Clinique's Moisture Surge Moisturizer which I also bought. Now, let's go to the second floor. This mall has several floors but just a heads up, I didn't go all the way up to the top floor because our main focus right now is to visit one of the most famous K-pop merch store in Korea. Famous for selling tons of K-pop merch, it's called With Moo. With Moo or with with Mew. To be honest, I kept calling it with Mew out of instinct and hopefully my instinct is correct. So let's call it with Mew. Here in with Mew, they sell all types of K-pop merch from albums, season's greetings, light sticks, stuffed toys, stationaries, 
tour merchandise, and honestly, anything you can think of. They have it all here. Parang SM lang. <laughs> and of course, they also have all of the K-pop groups. Kenaman is the perfect place to visit if you're a multi-stan. Hi nako guys, if you saw my first Korea vlog, nabudol na ako sa City Records ng mga K-pop albums. At ngayon, ito na naman tayo. <laughs> Welcome to K-pop merch Budol Part 2. <laughs> Honestly, I have nothing in mind na bilihin. Like, kung ano na magustuhan ko, eh, yun ang bibilihin ko. Kaso, that mindset, eh, dangerous yata yun sa ating wallet. Oo. Not gonna lie, this store is very overwhelming. It can really unleash your inner K-pop stan. Kaya naman, this is a certified K-pop stan haven. Anyway, I'm gonna let you all enjoy roaming around the store. Kaya naman, manahimik muna ako dito. Enjoy! Happy shopping! Okay, oh my gosh, looks so good. Let's go. The concept is cool, When we're coming back fresh to the Philippines. And I'm back. So ano, madami na ba kayo na shopping? Cause ako budul na budul na. O di ba na pabili pa ako ng lipstick ng treasure kahit wala naman siya sa plano ko. And if you watch my K-pop merch haul video, eh you know what happened. As you saw, I was testing the light stick sa testing table, tapos, ayun, I forgot to return the testing battery, so nagka-free batteries pa ako. <laughs> Nakalang sorry na ako, but sorry talaga with mo. <laughs> Guys, humongous. Takoyaki. Different flavors, though hindi ko alam po ano mga different sa mga flavors, because some are in Korean. Time for a late lunch, and since medyo tagtipid tayo for today's video, dahil sa shopping galore na nangyari kanina, eh we're just gonna eat takoyaki here at baho dan yaki. But guys, sa laki ba naman ng takoyaki na ito, eh for sure, busog na busog tayo. I ordered original cheese, and I must say, the taste is so different from what we have in the Philippines. I mean, would you look at that? The dough is like mozzarella cheese. Talagang nag stretch siya. And ang daming laman ha sa loob. So it's really sulit. So now we're in Hongik University Station. We're going to Hapjong Station. And then we're gonna walk to 
YG Entertainment Building. Are you guys ready? Real in your area. <laughs> Let's go. Audition time. Go. <laughs> so right now we're at Pak Jong Station. We're walking to YG. It's a little long, but you know, fighting <laughs> for YG. I'm getting ready for my audition. Yeah. Let's go. OMG guys, the moment we've been waiting for, we are now going to the YG building! I'm funny talaga ako Skype right now editing this video and I'm excited pa rin ako makita ulit yung YG building. It brings back the anticipation I had for years to finally see YG in person. Guys, can I just say, ang habang nakarap pa rin to go to YG building. Like it's quite far from Hapjong Station so if you're trying to go to the YG building, be prepared because I think it's gonna be like a 10 minute walk. Because if you can also take the bus, pero kasi yung bus hindi siya exactly mag-stop sa YG building so pero medyo gumay ng lakaran din so you can just enjoy the scenery as you can see it's very nice here so good and yeah. I think we're almost half of the fingers crossed guys I can see YG building from here now can you guys see the grey building? Oh my gosh, here we go! So excited to see YG! It's YG X Academy, guys! Look, the dancers from YG X, they practice here. And that's the office. I think this is the old building. It's the old building. It's the YG building. YG office. YG X Academy. Okay, let's go to YG, it's there! So guys, we're almost very near to YG building. I thought it's gonna be far, like long walk, hindi pala guys. So it's really like walkable from the Hapjong Station. And we're finally here, like very close. I'll show you guys later. Guys, here is YG, the new building. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so nice. Let's go. Parking of YG. Yuck. But the parking with the Here. Here's the new YG building. I don't know how near can we go. I think let's keep our distance. But we can't go here. The black Oh my gosh! There's the logo, the name. YG Entertainment. Some fans are waiting outside. Manobas at the bottom. And elevator. Elevator. Ayan guys, so elevator is outside. <laughs> I don't know what we're waiting for, but I don't think we can go near because we guard and the people are just keeping the distance here, the fans, so yeah, they're quite big. There's a black pick. Oh my gosh, so nice. And the structure of the building though, like, it's really good. Very beautiful. Siyempre naman, no, hindi tayo aaris dito hanggat wala akong picture or video na nakatayo sa harapan ng YG building. Hindi na ako nag-attempt na mag-cross to the other side kasi lahat ng fans dito ang side nag-aantay and may guards na on the lookout. Now we're going to the same cafe, fan cafe for YG fans, YG fans. Let's go! Just right in front of the YG building is the same fan cafe, a perfect tambayan for fans waiting outside YG. They offer a lot of drinks and pastries as well, the usual offerings in a cafe, but in here, they ask you what your ultimate YG group is because they put this cute cut out of the K-pop group's logo on top of the pastry that you ordered. The cafe is filled with YG group posters from Blackpink, Big Bang, Winner, Icon, and Treasure. As you can see, my mom is so supportive of me. Talaga pinipicturean pa niya ako habang naglalakad to our table. 
Nakakatuwa talaga yung vibes ng cafe na to. I wouldn't say na it's like the best place to chill and relax while drinking coffee because this cafe is filled with fellow YG fans you'll unintentionally overhear talking about their idols. And there's me picking up my order. You might be wondering, what did I order? Pati rin ako, to be honest right now, inaalala ko kung ano ba yung pastry na yung in-order ko. <laughs> I think ha, I think. It's like a donut na may cream brulee filling, if I remember it correctly. But for my drink, ito yung sure ako hindi ko makakalimutan. It's a chamomile relaxer which is from Icon's exclusive pop-up menu. So yeah, the same cafe has a basement. There you will find tons of merchandise ng mga YG artists natin. O di ba? Kakatapos lang ng K-pop merch boodle part two natin kanina. Ngayon naman, dadako na tayo agad sa K-pop merch boodle part three. This is truly a one-stop shop for merchandises ng YG groups. Albums, magazines, stuffed toys, clothes, jigsaw puzzles, accessories, and so much more. The store really sorted out everything and organized the merchandise by artist. Kaya naman, it's so easy to browse all of the items available here. Alam nyo ha, uuwi na talaga tayo ng bankrupt ito. Pagod na akong gumastos but here we are. Sige lang ng sige. <laughs> but you know, we just have to look at the bright side. Personally ha, being in this place, seeing all of these goodies really just lifts up my spirit. Kumbaga, nakakabuhay siya ng diwa. I find it very therapeutic to check everything out and maybe buy some for myself and share my experience with all of you guys. It's like a full circle moment for me, you know, as a K-pop stan, as a vlogger, and as your one and only real. <laughs> May pa-message pa ako na ganun, pero sa true lang talaga, I'm just really buying myself some time here because ang haba ng clip na to and ayoko siyang ikot because I want you all to see everything na nasa store na ito. <laughs> Anyway, going back to our K-pop merch boodle part 3, I wasn't able to film it but I actually bought several items na I already showed you guys sa K-pop merch haul video ko. If you haven't watched it, hi na ho, you're missing out. I shared there all of the K-pop merch I bought from Korea. You know what, I'll just add the link sa description of this video para you can watch it afterwards. Ayun, naderail na naman tayo sa sobrang talkative ko. As I was saying, what I bought from here is a how you like that picture display. Not sure what it's called, pero mukha siyang calendar display. I also bought plastic folders of Haruto and Jungkyu, as well as an acrylic stand of Jungkyu. Now, we're at the counter, about to drop some money! Oo, Lisa, kikita ka na naman! Hi everyone, we're now at Pan River, as you can see behind me. So habang tayo nag explore let me share with you some fun facts about this river. Han River or Hangang River is the most famous river here in Korea. The river begins as two smaller rivers in the eastern mountains of the Korean Peninsula which then converge near Seoul. This river serves as a water source for over 12 million South Koreans. Around the river, there are pedestrian walkways, street food, vendors, bicycle paths, public parks, just like this one that we're roaming around, and restaurants. This has been voted as the second most scenic location here in Seoul, following Mount Namsan in the top spot. Kaya naman when you come and visit Seoul, the Han River is definitely a place na you don't wanna miss. Also, this river has been featured in a lot of K-dramas already, kaya I'm sure you're very familiar with it. Wow, what a view guys, what a view. Guys, that's one bab. See, it's like a house. Hmm, looks familiar ba? I bet it is. Tonight, we are dining at this very special place called Gonbab. Now, the name might not ring a bell, pero when you see the place, especially the inside, you will definitely say, 
OMG, I've seen this place somewhere. <laughs> anyway, going to this restaurant will make you walk for like 15 to 20 minutes from the subway station. Kaya for sure, when you arrive here, gutom ka na. Upon entering the restaurant, merong yung na nagiyosi sa labas. Apparently, he's the owner of the resto. How many people? Two. Two, Two people? Yes. See, the place is so nice. It feels very homey and just cozy. The restaurant is not super big. They have like what? A30 seating capacity? But I think that's what makes this resto very intimate. To be honest ha, I don't know what food they serve in this restaurant. All I know is that this restaurant has been a filming location for a lot of K-dramas that we all love. Like 18 Again, Fight For My Way, Peace Of Your Mind, and the most recent one, nakakatapos ko lang panoorin sa Disney Plus, soundtrack number one, starring Han So Hee and Park Yong Sik. Oh, tama na. Masyado ka na nag enjoy sa clip ng soundtrack number one. You can watch all episodes naman on Disney+. Plus. Ang nakakatawa lang din here is coincidentally, we sat sa table where the two of them are also seating, as you just saw. Anyway, enough of that kilig, time to dig in sa food. The owner recommended dishes that we will surely love daw, so we were like, okay, we're up for that. <laughs> So we ordered Galbi Jim, which is the best quality of beef I've ever tried. Like, it's so soft, and the taste is just so glorious. Apart from that, we also ordered dumpling soup and cabbage pancake, which is literal na cabbage pala na parang nilagyan ng harina. Anywho, watch me devour all of the food, and hopefully, eh, hindi ko kayo ginutom for today's video. Mash kira sayo! Today we'll be going to Namsan Tower, uh, Itaewon, and then hide inside the building. So I'm so excited to check those out. And now let's go!